And new developments in the search for this father who disappeared after a boating accident on the Houston Ship Channel on Friday. Less than two hours ago, Texas EquiSearch wrapped up their second day of the search, but the man's family is not giving up hope, including his son who talked with us today. Channel 2's Bill Spencer joins us live with what he had to say, and Bill, certainly an emotional time for this family. Jonathan, it's an absolutely horrible time for everyone that loves fisherman Bob Van Wyn. Not only has he been missing since Friday, but he disappeared doing the one thing everyone agrees he knew better than anything else fishing. Sunday's search for missing boat fisherman Bob Van Wyn began with heavy fog, cold waters, and members of Texas EquiSearch heading out to search a massive area of water. Three to four miles in size. I'll shoot an arrow in the sky wherever it comes down. I guess that's probably a pretty good starting point. Using an ultra high tech sonar system, EquiSearch volunteers are scouring the waters near Eagle Point. They can search 300 feet with every pass. Wynn's boat was discovered abandoned and spinning in circles in the Houston Ship Channel. Today, Randy Wynn, Ba's son, a soldier in the United States Army, arrived at the search site. Hoping for a miracle. My goal is to find him alive. I don't think he's gone. Uh, hopefully, that's that's why I believe in right now. Randy, who just graduated from Airborne School, has come all the way from Alaska to help find his loving father. I wouldn't have joined the service if not for him. Randy says he is simply the best man. We have to find him. The whole point of me going joining is to make him proud, but now I don't know if I ever get to find that out. I'm actually having a hard time trying to find out what to do next. The words of a loving son tonight. Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. sharp, Texas EquiSearch will be hitting the water once again, but this time they'll be armed with a brand new tool in their search. They're going to actually take the GPS unit from Bob N. Wynn's boat, and they're going to use that to try and track his exact movements just before he disappeared on Friday. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill